Welcome back, everyone. This will be my Clea video for Doctor Strange 2, the post credit scene. Everybody wondering who she is, what she's going to be doing in the next couple of Marvel movies, this big Secret Wars time runs out scenario that they're teasing in that post credit scene. Literally while I was making this video, Marvel released another clip with her featuring her behind the scenes, just showing her costume off and how they created the character. They're setting up a bunch of really big stuff with her character, so we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We're doing a giveaway for Disney Plus memberships. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and just leave all your theories about Clea on the video. Careful for spoilers for the post credit scene if you haven't seen it yet. But in the post credit scene, Charlize Theron shows up as Clea from the Dark Dimension, telling Doctor Strange that he just caused another incursion. He's going to come help her stop it. Like she's really pissed off at what he's done. She asks if he's afraid, and he's just really excited, like, hell yes, let's go stop this incursion, as if he knows exactly what he's doing. He kind of knows what's going on with the incursion because of what Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four said, but he's really just learning what's going on right now. Like, he hasn't completely seen the grand picture of everything. He doesn't know that all universes everywhere are in the middle of just destroying each other. The funny thing in this scene being the fact that his third eye has emerged like the physical expression of the eye of Agamotto, which is just something that happens when a sorcerer gains a certain level of magical power. The writer also confirmed that it's meant to be one of the consequences of him reading from the Darkhold. Like, he gains this ancient knowledge, he gains more power, but he's also gained this small taint with it, like this potential that something bad will happen to him eventually. The Darkhold corrupted him a little bit, not quite as corrupted as Sinister Strange or quite as corrupted as Scarlet Witch got during the movie, but still just a little bit corrupted. The real funny moment here being that Clea doesn't call attention to his third eye, like, oh yeah, it's totally normal that humans have third eyes in their foreheads, alright, let's go. Then they cross the barrier between dimensions, entering the dark dimension again, using one of the portals that Clea has opened with her own magical power. This is meant to be a big incursions, time runs out, Secret Wars teaser for the next major arc of Marvel movies and Disney Plus series, like we just ended the Infinity Saga arc with the Avengers Endgame movie, now we're entering the Secret Wars Saga with all these coming Marvel Phase 4, Marvel Phase 5 movies. And that's what all the incursions are about, multiverse battle royale starting with the Kang multiverse war. Thank you very much Loki and Sylvie. But the post credit scene is also meant to be a big Doctor Strange 3 teaser for the next direct sequel movie, so Clea is going to be a big character during Doctor Strange 3. And she's just come to get Doctor Strange's help saving her home universe. She goes way back to the classic comics, but she's been a relatively obscure character, so when she showed up in the movie, a lot of casual fans were like, wait a minute, who is this? Is she supposed to be a really big deal? Yes, Clea is a very big deal. She's been Doctor Strange's true love interest for basically her entire life in Marvel Comics. Eventually, they legit get married. So it's like them introducing Doctor Strange's wife to the movies. This is my wife. Even though in the MCU they tried to make Christine Palmer more of a big character, she was featured in the classic Doctor Strange comics, but the comics just in general aren't that really concerned with the Christine Palmer character, like she's just not that big a deal. When you think of Doctor Strange getting it on with someone, usually Marvel's go-to, especially in the comics, has been the Clea character. But in the MCU, it seems like they're teasing some kind of love triangle with this new Christine Palmer variant from the Illuminati's 838 universe. She will be back in Doctor Strange 3 as well. That was what that whole line, I love you in every universe, was meant to imply. Like, he still has this longing for her, but he's just met Clea. So this is meant to be the first time that he's ever met the Clea character. One of the cool things about her character, too, is that she is way more powerful than Doctor Strange because of her family line. So it's a big deal that they're introducing her because they're introducing so many OP characters during Marvel Phase 4. She's Dormammu's niece. She's the daughter of Dormammu's twin sister, Umar. They're from a race called the Faultine, beings made of pure magical energy from another dimension outside the main MCU dimension. Dormammu and his sister are not originally from the Dark Dimension either. Their race looks kind of like them. They can take humanoid form, for instance. They can look more like Clea if they want to, but Dormammu just chooses to look like they do in their pure form. So they all tend to look kind of like Dormammu looks. When Dormammu and his twin sister were born in this alternate dimension, they had some abnormalities. So instead of just consuming pure magical energy for sustenance like the rest of their race, they crave physical matter and the rest of their people view this as a big perversion. So they basically booted them out of their dimension into the main MCU universe in the Dark Dimension. Now here's the big twist. For those of you asking if the Dark Dimension is meant to be another dimension or just another universe, Marvel's using it as just another universe. They're just calling it the Dark Dimension. So in the MCU, the Dark Dimension is just like another part of the multiverse, and that's why it's threatened by the incursions that are destroying the entire MCU multiverse. 
when you talk about other dimensions, it's sort of like another layer of reality, like the third dimension and the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension. The multiverse mostly just covers everything in the third dimension. So Marvel's kind of hand-waving and using a lot of different terms to describe the same thing. When they arrived in the Dark Dimension, it wasn't an evil place like you saw during the first Doctor Strange movie. It was just another universe inside the MCU. When they arrived there, they taught the people who lived there, ruled over that place, how to absorb other dimensions, making themselves more powerful. They kind of teased that storyline during the first Doctor Strange movie, absorbing other universes. Clea was born to Dormammu's sister and the son of the original king of that Dark Dimension before Dormammu took over. So in the MCU, Clea is kind of a Star-Lord type of character who's descended from this being of pure power. Like, Star-Lord is half celestial, so they're not as powerful as their parents, but Clea has this natural affinity for magic that regular humans like Doctor Strange don't have. Magic comes to her naturally, kind of the way that magic comes to Scarlet Witch without her having to learn spells. I'm not a witch. I don't cast spells. No one taught me magic. That's one of the bonuses that Scarlet Witch gets from her chaos magic, is she can just think of something that she wants to do and it winds up happening. She doesn't need to read spells to learn them out of a book like Doctor Strange or other regular humans like Wong do. But that's one of the reasons why Clea is so powerful, why she can open portals between universes like it's no big deal with her magic. Also, they explain that it's expressly forbidden according to the rules of most of the magic that people follow just because it's so dangerous and it could potentially weaken the barrier between different universes, causing incursions and the eventual destruction of all reality, as Reed Richards says. So there are people that could probably do it if they really wanted to, but they're just afraid to because of what might happen because of it. It's not really till you get to characters like Kang in the distant future who start doing it a lot, like traveling between different timelines, manipulating the multiverse in a really big way, just because their technology is so much more advanced than what you have in present day. Just to give you an idea for the power scaling though, Clea Dormammu, more powerful than Doctor Strange, but less powerful than beings like C'thone, God of Chaos, the person who gives all of Scarlet Witch her chaos magic when she was born. So for instance, Clea versus Scarlet Witch would be a really awesome fight to see, but I still think because of all the extra power-ups she gets from her chaos magic, Scarlet Witch would ultimately be able to stop Clea. The other big easter egg with the way they're using her in the post credit scene here with the incursion, Secret Wars, Time Runs Out scenario, wanting Doctor Strange's help, saving the Dark Dimension, is that this scenario is a big easter egg for the first time Marvel introduced her character in the comics. Clea debuted in the early 60s in Strange Tales 126, which was also the first story that they introduced Dormammu in. So the first time Doctor Strange faced Dormammu is the first time that he met Clea. During that story, he travels to the Dark Dimension and winds up meeting Clea, who's just fascinated with him, and winds up helping him try to get rid of Dormammu. But during their fight, Doctor Strange winds up saving Dormammu's life and helping save the Dark Dimension from destruction from the Mindless Ones. So this will sound familiar. They form a bargain. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. And Dormammu owes Doctor Strange a solid, so he allows Clea to go free. So now Clea has come to get Doctor Strange's help to do something similar, save Dormammu's life, technically save the Dark Dimension from being destroyed because it's her home. So he'll have to form another bargain with Dormammu. Dormammu? I've come to bargain. So in the MCU, even though Clea is kind of like the Sorcerer Supreme of the Dark Dimension, she hates her uncle Dormammu, her mother Umar, she wants to get rid of them and restore order in her universe because there's like a whole race of regular people that live in the Dark Dimension that she wants to protect. Right now, during Time Runs Out as the incursions are happening, she needs as much power as possible to stop the incursion from destroying the Dark Dimension. That's why she needs Doctor Strange's help for his power and why they need Dormammu's power as well. So heading into Doctor Strange 3, for example, you have this big twist where Doctor Strange has to form another bargain with Dormammu. They help try to save his universe from being destroyed, and they have a temporary truce in the face of full-blown secret wars. While Doctor Strange is learning who Clea is, and a relationship starts developing between the two of them. Now, when most people think of Clea, they just think of Doctor Strange's wife, like, oh, they have this romantic relationship. But like I said, they have this weird thing going on with the variant of Christine Palmer from the Illuminati's universe. So just charting the timeline, using Iron Man and Pepper Potts as a benchmark for relationships in the MCU. If you remember, they didn't really get together at all until the end of Iron Man 2, and they didn't really get married till after Spider-Man Homecoming, and they didn't really have a kid together until Avengers Endgame, the same movie that they wound up killing MCU Iron Man during. So if Clea and Doctor Strange get together in the MCU, they probably wouldn't actually get together till right before Doctor Strange probably winds up sacrificing himself, getting an Iron Man-style arc in this Secret Wars saga. During the movie, several different characters confront him with the idea that his 1 in 14 million chance, the idea that he thought was the only way, was not actually the only way. There would have been another way. He could have sacrificed himself. He's been selfish this whole time. Why wasn't it you to die? 
So ultimately, I think they're setting him up on an Iron Man style arc where he will be the one to fall on his sword, but that'll happen when a full blown Secret Wars winds up happening. So if they wind up getting together in the MCU, it happened like right before he winds up sacrificing himself. So it's not like they're gonna get married in the next Marvel movie or anything like that. And Marvel has this whole thing where they try to find creative ways to keep them apart. Like in the MCU, if you think about it, she becomes the ruler of the Dark Dimension. So even if Doctor Strange were to find a way to survive Secret Wars, they wouldn't really have time to be together. Like right now in Marvel Comics, they have this whole Death of Doctor Strange arc where Clea becomes the next Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange winds up dying, just another way to keep them apart. There was even one point in the comics where they gave them their own Spider-Man One More Day style arc where they basically just erased all memory of their relationship from Clea's mind. Can I help you? Hi, um, my name is Peter Parker. But right now as they start ramping up with the incursions, things start getting crazy. Clea will be one of their most powerful, greatest allies, but the majority of her time, you have to remember, is spent trying to save the Dark Dimension, her home, from the incursions and from Dormammu himself. So they're trying to tease that she'll work with the other Avengers, the Fantastic Four, the Illuminati, if they bring a version of that team back, anyone who winds up surviving as they start actual secret wars on whatever battle world winds up being. But after they fix the multiverse, she'd have to go back to the Dark Dimension to spend most of her time running that place. Doctor Strange 3 will probably wind up being released around the time that they really head into a Time Runs Out Avengers 5 style movie, somewhere in between those, which would be like 2025, 2026, so three years at the minimum for Doctor Strange 3, maybe a little bit longer, depending. So hopefully that explains who Clea is in the MCU, specifically in these Marvel movies, like this really powerful being descended from a being of pure magic who will be a big help to them in their Time Runs Out incursion secret war scenario. If you have any other questions about what's going on with her character, how Marvel's gonna use her, or what's going on with Doctor Strange 3, just post them in the comments below. I have a couple videos for X-Men, Fantastic Four, and other things from the movie plan, so make sure you have alerts enabled for my channel. Congratulations, Master Search. You're the giveaway winner for my last big Marvel video. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Everyone click here for my brand new Doctor Strange 2 Iron Man deleted scene to learn what was going on with him during the movie and click here for my full breakdown of the entire movie with Easter eggs for everything. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.